lagi niyo pong tatandaan that it's also very important for us to be enjoying the savings and investment process because if not, we will not also have reasons to continue with this journey and be able to finish this successfully. Hi, this is Jung Fernando and I'm from Bamford Financials. Kamusta po? Welcome back to our channel. Before anything else, allow me again to say thank you to all of you who have so far subscribed to our official YouTube channel, Bamford Financials, and to those who continue to like and share our videos. Again, from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you for all the support. It really means so much to us. And to those who regularly give us nice comments, Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong mga words of encouragement. Talaga naman pong nakakapagbigay ito ng inspirasyon para po sa amin dito sa aming financial advocacy. And so for today, you're in for another treat as we discuss another very interesting topic, this time about savings. Yes, you've heard it right. We will be talking about that for today. Maaring very common or basic po nitong topic natin ngayon, pero kasi marami pa rin po sa atin ang walang natatabing pera. At marami rin po sa atin na nakapagsimula na sa savings programs na to ay maaaring mali po ang pamamaraan ng kanilang pagsisave. And so, yan po ang gusto sana natin pag-usapan ngayon, itong 5 common savings mistakes na maaaring natin iwasan in our own savings programs. And so, when you're ready, let us begin. Of course, on top of the list is when you save without a purpose. Always begin with an end in mind as we always say. Sa lahat po ng talks, webinars, seminars namin, lagi namin tong sinistress ang importance ng having a clear objective. Kung wala po tayo mga plano, baliwala lahat po ng ating mga sinisave na pera. Kasi hindi naman po natin maximize ang earnings potential nito kasi hindi natin alam in the first place kung alin or para saan natin to nilala. It's very important to identify ano bang klaseng goal ang pinag-iipunan natin. Sabi nila, there are five major reasons why a person must save money. On top of that list is for retirement. Retirees these days are not just happy with living on interest na tinatawag. Sabi nila, para sa mga retirees these days, mas mahalaga na daw sa kanila ang lifestyle continuation. And so, pag Aware tayo sa mga bagay na ganito, mas magiging conscious na tayo sa ating mga monthly expenses when it comes to food, entertainment, clothes, at kung ano na pa. Kasi this is the basis that we will be using to be able to identify magkanong kakailanganin nating pondo so that we can get to continue with this kind of lifestyle even until we retire. Second reason why we should be saving money is of course, obviously for our children's education. Hindi po ganun kasimple magpaaral ng mga bata. Kailangan niyo pong tandaan na hindi lang po basta-basta tuition fee ang poproblemahin natin pag nagpapaaral tayo ng bata. Kailangan rin po natin pondohan ang mga allowance, ang requirements, mga libro, uniform, at kung ano-ano pa. Third reason why we should be saving money is of course for health and medical reasons. Alam na alam naman po natin na kailangan natin ng pondo para dito. Pero bihira pa rin po sa atin ang nagsisave ng pera para sa kadahilanan na ito. Ito rin naman po ang reason why most Filipinos easily get wiped out sa kanilang mga financial resources pag bigla ang nagkakasakit or na-hospital kasi again, hindi po tayo nagre-ready ng funds for this specific reason. Fourth reason why we should be saving money is of course for our medium or short-term needs. Hindi lang po basta-basta important na nagtatabi tayo ng pera para sa ating mga future goals. It's also very important na itong mga intermediate or ating mga short-term goals like for entertainment, travel goals, yung nakakalabas pa tayo before the pandemic, yung ating mga dining out expenses, ay napoprograma rin natin at napaglalaanan rin natin ng tamang ipon. And last but not the least reason why we should be saving money is of course to have that own emergency fund. Again, an emergency fund must at the very least be 3 to 6 months worth of your monthly living expenses. And this fund should be placed only in conservative instruments like bank products. Those that are easily or readily accessible anytime we need these funds. 
Alam niyo po, hindi po maganda na nagsisave lamang tayo pag biglang may gusto tayong bilhin gadget or biglang may major expense that comes up. Alam niyo po, you should make savings a part of your lifestyle. Dapat nga po, habit na ito. We should make savings regular and a consistent activity sa ating po mga pamumuhay. In Tramper Financials, may tinatawag po kaming investment projector calculator. This is a tool that will help you find out magkano kailangan yung ipunin, anong frequency ng pag-iipon, anong klase ng instrumento ang maaari ninyo itong i-match with, para ma-achieve natin successfully ang ating mga financial goals. You should try to visit our website, www.traffer.com Alam niyo po, itong tool na to, very user-friendly siya. Ang ganda-ganda pong gawin itong tool na to kasi very interesting to find out itong mga matatayog nating pangarap in the future, magkano ba talaga ang pag-translate na ninyo into monthly savings ang kailangan ninyong pondohan on a regular basis para ma-achieve ang lahat ng goals na to. Marami kaming clients after using this, biglang ina-adjust nila yung goals nila. Kasi isipin nila ay ang laki pala ng kailangan kong isave para ma-achieve ang lahat ng mga goals na ito. Nakakatuwa po itong gamitin kaya I invite all of you to please try this out. It's also very important that when we save, we set clear timelines for it. Gano ka bilis or gano ka tagal or gano ka frequent tayong magsisave ng pera kung saan ang instrumento natin to ay ma-match with at gano ka tagal rin po natin kakailanganin para makapag-ipon po tayo ng tama. It's also nice to be able to review regularly our monthly bills na tinatawag kasi marami pong areas dyan yung pwede tayong makapag-save pa ng pera. For example, cell phone bills. Kayo ba prepaid pa rin ang gamit niyo or baka it's already high time for you to have your own line. Akala lang natin mas nakakatipid tayo pag prepaid tayo pero eventually pag sinuma total niyo baka mas makabuti pa pala sa inyo na magpalinya na lang. Marami na po murang plans ngayon, baka magulat po kayo. Or another area in your bills that you can save money on would be yung cellular data allowance sa tinatawag. Baka naman, lalo na ngayon na may crisis, mas makatipid kayo pag magpakabit kayo ng sarili ninyong Wi-Fi internet connection. Alam nyo, maaari nyo pong i-consider ang mga bagay na ito. Basta ang mahalaga, regularly, nare-review ninyo po ang inyong mga monthly bills na tinatawag. You wouldn't know kung aling area o aspeto doon yung mas makakasave pa tayo ng pera. Another mistake that we should be avoiding is when we save only. Yes, marami pong Pinoy na ganyan. Pag tinanong namin, ikaw ba may natatabi ka namang pera? Oo, okay naman ako, nakakapag-save naman ako. Pag biglang tinanong namin, saan mo nilalagay yung mga savings mo? Ayan na, dyan na nila masasabi na, ay, wala sa drawer ko, or meron akong separate wallet for it, or meron akong jars for it. Alam niyo po, we should be wise savers rin. Kung gusto natin maging successful sa savings journey po na ito, we should be proactive at huwag po tayong magiging passive savers. By being proactive, kailangan din po alam natin palaguin ang mga tinatabi nating pera. Always remember that savings and investments should always go hand in hand. Hindi po maganda na saving lang ang gagawin ninyo. Kailangan pinag-iisipan rin po ninyo papano ninyo palalaguin lahat ng tinatabi ninyo mga funds na ito. Alam niyo po, pag hindi ninyo pinag-isipan kung papano niyo rin i-invest yung mga pera na ito, eventually, through time, mag-de-depreciate rin po ang value ng savings natin. Why? Because of inflation. Di po ba? Mag-de-depreciate po ang value ng savings natin if we don't invest it the right way. Ang dami na pong options these days. You can choose from having a face-to-face -face platform or an online platform. Gusto mo ba? May kausap ka palaging financial advisor who will monitor and remind you of all of these savings. Or gusto mo ba? You can do it on your own na through all of these online savings platforms, you have the power to choose which kind of facility or which kind of platform ang mag-work best for you. 
Mas ang importante po, mapalago ninyo ang lahat ng sinisave yung pera. You can choose from conservative instruments like fund funds, money market funds, commercial papers, or any other instrument na nakalagay lang sa mga fixed income products. That way, you can still sleep well at night knowing na hindi po ganun ka-volatile ang pinaglagyan ninyo ng sinisave ninyong pera. Para naman po doon sa mas aggressive at mas gustong kumita ng mas malaki eventually, you can also try out stock funds, equity funds, or do direct stock trading. At para naman rin po doon sa hindi makapag-decide kung sila pa ay conservative or aggressive, you can always go for a balance instrument. Basta ang importante po, palaguin ninyo yung sinisave ninyo at hindi lang siya basta-basta natutulog in one container or in one instrument na tinatawag. Another major mistake that we should be avoiding in our savings program is that when we save only whatever's left of our income or allowance kung kayo po ay estudyante pa. Huwag niyo pong uugaliin yung nakasanayan na ninyong formula. Income minus expenses equals savings or investment. Pag yan po ang sinusunod ninyong formula, it's a surefire hit na maghihirap po kayo. Kasi again, wala naman pong sweldo, wala naman pong allowance na nagkasya. Lagi po tayong may naiisip pagkagasusan, di po ba? And so, pag inuna ninyo palagi yung expenses, bago kayo mag-save o bago kayo mag-invest, most of the time, wala po tayong naiipon, di po ba? Kaya, Lagi po namin tinuturo ito. Ang dami nyo na rin pong librong nabasa nito na dapat ang ina-apply nating formula sa ating mga savings at investment programs would be yung baliktad po. Income minus investments or savings is equal to expenses. That way, nauuna nyo na pong nasiset aside yung pang-save ninyo or yung pang-invest ninyo bago pa po ninyo gastusin yung inyong pondo. Alam niyo po, if you do it that way, mas mapapabilis yung inyong wealth creation na tinatawag. Maaring sa simula, mahirap po. Lahat naman po kasi ng bagay, di po ba mahirap sa simula? Maaring sabihin nyo, imposible yan, Jun, kasi ang dami namin gastos. Ang laki-laki talaga ng mga bayarin namin every month. Alam niyo po, again, sa simula ng mahirap ang lahat, financial discipline is very hard, but if you get used to it, masasanay po kayo at eventually you will realize you will adjust it. Yung inyong lifestyle at spending habits, unti-unti mag adjust po kayo. Basta ang importante, masimulan po natin ang mga bagay nito. It's very important po na ang sinisave ninyo of your income or allowance pag estudyante pa po kayo is at the, at the very least 10 to 20%. Palagi, kung gusto po ninyo talagang maging effective savers and investors, that's the ideal percentage daw po. And every time you receive a raise or salary increase, di ba, kung empleyado kayo, huwag niyo pong isipin na yung increase na yun, it's already a windfall or bonus. Dapat nga po, mas nagtitake advantage tayo sa mga increases na to. And when that happens, lahat po ng mga increase na natatanggap natin, we should also be adjusting and raising the percentage of our savings and investments. For example, you have received a 3% raise. Kailangan yung 1% ton automatically dinadagdag na ninyo as part of your savings and investment. Ngayon yung 2%, sige, fine. Enjoyin nyo po. Ayaw rin naman po namin kayong nalulungkot habang nandito kayo sa savings process na tinatawag na ito. Another wrong mindset that we should be avoiding is when we always just simply try to save money by having those wrong buying decisions. Marami po sa ating Pinoy yung ganyan. Yung, for example, naniniwala tayo na yung bulk orders, palagi po tayo nakakatipid. Come to think of it, talaga bang kailangan ninyo ng ganyang karaming supplies on a month or on a weekly basis? Di ba po, baka akalain ninyo nakakatipid kayo but in the end, mas napapamahal kayo kasi nag expire lang, hindi nyo nagkagamit or worse, pinamimigay nyo na lang para lang hindi masayang kasi ang talaga namang nakoconsume nyo lang dun sa mga binili ninyong items is limited only. So baka mas makatipid pa kayo kung patingi-tingi or by piece yung binibili natin instead of bulk orders. Another wrong mindset na dapat po ninyong iniiwasan would be when you buy yung mga tinatawag na substandard items. 
okay lang naman po na magtipid tayo. Okay lang naman po na conscious tayo sa pagbibili ng mga branded na mga bagay. But many times, alam nyo po, kailangan rin po natin i-assess din kung worth it rin bang bumili ng second hand or ng tinatawag na used na na mga items na to. Kasi baka in the end, instead of saving money, mas mapamahal pa tayo because of all of these repair costs or yung mga maintenance fees na tinatawag or worse, pagbibili rin naman kayo from time to time dahil nasisira ito or sirain na ang mga bagay na ito or maraming problema na yung mga items na ito dahil second hand na kaya kailangan i-weigh nyo rin po yung mga bagay na ganyan hindi po porket second hand yan mas makakatipid kayo baka mamaya again mas makatipid pa kayo kung bibili kayo ng high quality items na magtatagal naman po over time Also, be wary of joining itong lahat ng mga discounts or three-day sales na tinatawag ko, mga promotions, no? Kasi akala natin, again, nakakatipid tayo, pero the fact na gumastos tayo, may lumabas na pera sa mga bulsa natin, means that you've already spent money for it. And that means, wala na rin kayong natipid kasi naglabas kayo ng pera, eh. Again, maliban na lamang kung talaga may tinatarget kayong item na bibilhin. That way, kung may bigla ang discount or merong 3-day sale sa isang mall, no, matitake advantage yun, yung mas murang cost for buying that particular product. But most of the time, uh, tingnan nyo rin po, i-assess nyo rin po yung sarili nyo. Baka naman mas matemp lang kayo by joining all of these discounted madness no, na in the end, mas mapapamahal pa kayo or mas mapapagasos pa kayo by buying the non-essentials na tinatawag. Also, be very conscious dun sa pagsali ninyo dun sa mga promos, mga, mga free trials sa mga applications natin. Most of the time, no, akala natin free lang yung membership nito pero after 3 months or 6 months, automatically tayo na yung macha-charge ng membership costs nito. And pag hindi natin to na monitor na mabuti, nagbabayad tayo unnecessarily for things that we don't really need in the first place. Kaya instead of being able to save more money, mas napapagasos pa po kayo. Kaya be very conscious of these things as well. Kailangan nyo rin pong iwaksi yung mga money mindsets na mga tinatawag na pag nag-join kayo ng mga, for example, paluwagan, di ba? Hindi ko nga po maintindihan bakit ko nauso yung mga ganyang klaseng savings program. E sa totoo lang, parang, di ba, pasensya na po ha, parang nililoko lang natin yung mga sarili natin by being in this paluwagan system. Kasi di ba, parang, Pera nyo rin naman yun eh, na sineschedule lang ang pag-release. Instead of being able to save more money, alam nyo in the end, di ba akala nyo sumisweldo kayo? And pagka sumisweldo kayo, di ba parang automatic gastos naman ang naiisip natin? Kaya bali wala rin. Instead of doing or joining all of these paluwagan systems, alam nyo po, try nyo na lang pong disiplinahin yung sarili ninyo. Instead of needing other people to be able to Be consistent in your savings program. Try to look for other options. Alam nyo, mga financial institutions ngayon, very innovative na. Ang daming savings programs na nagkala dyan. Kami dito sa Ram for Financials, may tinatawag kaming HIP, yung Hassle-Free Investment Program. That is, we accommodate clients who submit post-data checks. Tapos, we automatically monitor all of these checks for them and automatically book and process these checks as they fall due. That way, forced savings na po ang mangyayari sa inyo kasi matatakot na po pa yung hindi pondohan yung mga bank accounts ninyo kasi nasubmit na ninyo yung mga check sa amin. Another thing is that hindi na kayo mamumuglema having to figure out kung nakakapaglagay ba kayo sa savings programs ninyo on a regular basis kasi again, kami na po ang magmamonitor ng mga bagay na ito for you. Marami pa pong institutions ang nag-o-offer ng mga ganitong klaseng savings facilities. You just have to really read Research and ask your financial advisor about it. And last but not the least mistake that we should be avoiding is when we save and invest excessively. Again, too much of everything is also bad. Alam niyo po, wala pong naging magandang na idulot ang sobra-sobra o ang labis-labis. Okay lang naman po mag-save at mag-invest, pero if it already affects our social life, 
our relationship with people around us, yung ating career growth and development, and yung ating income opportunities, hindi na rin po ito maganda. Hindi po porkit nagsisave tayo, ay nagiging maayos po ang financial track natin towards successful wealth creation. Kailangan po hindi rin tayo mag maging Mr. Scrooge or mga misers na tinatawag. Always strike a balance between saving and spending properly. Sabi nga po ng boss namin sa, na si Mr. Rex Mendoza, kurot wag dakot. Kung ganyan po ang makakaugalian natin, magiging okay naman po tayo. Hindi rin naman po kasi maganda na nagsisave tayo, pero in the process, nagiging malungkot tayo kasi hindi na tayo nakakalabas, hindi na tayo nakakakain ng mabuti, or hindi na tayo nakakabili ng mga gusto nating mga few luhos in life, di po ba? Alam nyo, maapektuhan rin po ang mga relationships niyo kasi kung sobra rin kayong nagtitipid, ayaw nyo nang lumabas kasi magastos mag dine out, di po ba? Or could also affect your career development or growth. Kasi sa sobrang pagtitipid ninyo, kahit naman na na-afford ninyo, bumili ng bagong office wardrobe at pag-invest ng mga mas magagandang gadgets or mas magagandang tools of the trade na tinatawag or mag-invest rin sa tinatawag na seminars or yung mga nakakadagdag sa learning natin. Alam nyo, imbis na maging ma-promote tayo na mabilis, mas mapapatagal pa eh. Kasi, syempre, mga boss, gusto rin naman nilang i-promote yung itsurang promotable rin ng mga empleyado. And so, pag masyado rin naman nating pinipid ang mga itsura natin at nagmukha tayong kawawa at nahuli na tayo sa mga usong gadget, kahit papano, sa technology, hindi tayo nakakeep up with. And yung nalalaman natin, hindi rin natin to na-i-increase through time kasi nagtitipid tayo sa pag i-enroll sa kung ano ng mga learning seminars or programs. Diba? Tayo rin ang kawawa kasi hindi tayo consider for all of these career growth and developments na tinatawag. Alam nyo, pwede rin tayong iwasan ang tinatawag na earnings opportunity. Siyempre, ang mga business partners, gusto niya makipag-partner sa mga taong alam naman nilang may pera kahit papano or willing para posisyon sa isang business opportunity. Kung kilala nila tayo na masyado tayong matipid at masyado tayong conservative sa ating mga money decisions, syempre, mas gugustuhin na lang nilang ikadeal with yung mga taong mas open at mas magiging aggressive sa mga bagay na tulad nito. Lagi nyo pong tatandaan that it's also very important for us to be enjoying the savings and investment process because if not, we will not also have reasons to continue with this journey and be able to finish this successfully. And so, I hope this simple video has helped you in one way or another. Or if you think you have friends or relatives who might be of need of these contents, I hope you can click like and share this video to them. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, I hope you can do so and tap the bell button for our future notifications and other updates. Again, this has been June Fernando saying thank you so much for watching and may God bless us all.